All right, um, so there's a couple things we need to know about at least dealing with the square root of negative 27. Um, the first thing we want to do is we're going to try to simplify this. And one thing we notice is we can't take the square root of a negative number. Um, remember the square root, if I'm looking at the square root of 4, that means 2, meaning that 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So if I have the square root of a negative number, well, there's no number that's multiplied by itself is going to equal something negative because a negative times a negative and a positive times a positive are always going to equal a positive number. So what we have is what we're going to call an imaginary numbers. And simplicity, we can just write the square root of a negative number, which we can rewrite as kind of 1, is going to be i. So for instance, if I said, what is the square root of negative 4, well what we could do is we could rewrite that as negative 1 times 4. And now I can take the square root, I can break that up into negative 1 times the square root of 4. Whereas the square root of 4 is 2, and the square root of negative 1 we're representing as i. So therefore this would be i times 2, or 2i. Two so it's important for us to know this, very important for us to be able to do this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm automatically going to just rewrite this as the square root of negative 1 times 27. And now, by using my rules with uh, radicals, I can break this up into negative 1 times the square root of 27. All right, so we know the negative 1 is going to equal i. But now what I did is I got rid of my negative. So now I just need to see if I can simplify 27. And there's a couple ways to do this. For this problem, I'll show you how to factor it. So what I can do is I can just factor 27. I can do 9 times 3, which, I'm sorry, 27 is the same thing as the square root of 9 times 3, which is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3. Well, now I know I can take the square root when you have a pair, since we're dealing with square roots, the square root of a number times itself is obviously that number. So therefore, I'm going to have 3. And there's only one 3 over here, so it's going to be 3 radical 3 times the square root of negative 1, which is i. And usually we like to write 3 times i, 3i times radical 3. And that's going to be our final answer for that.